Hey there everybody, how y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back, and as always, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, thank you. Where's my heart? All right, before we go on to that little topic, I would like to say I have three new shirts that I'm trying to promote. I got some new merch. Yeah, all right. So I got three links down there. If you don't mind, go down there and check them out. If you like them, purchase them. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to try to do some more shirts. Uh, that one of them is a TFCon shirt, and the other two are just regular uh, just sayings I, I say sometimes. And um, so, yeah, if you don't mind, go down and do that for me. And I'm almost to 1,000 subs. Yay, another, another little dance. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, I really owe it to all y'all. I really appreciate it. I, I, it's awesome that y'all like my content and that y'all share it and all that good stuff. Thank you. All right. Done with that mushy stuff. Let's go on to the little topic. All right, today or <clears throat> tonight, uh, later on, earlier uh, on tonight, I got sent this little thing that make toys, make toys. I don't know, make some transformers. I don't care. They're making, they're doing a crowdfunding uh, project, and here we go. We got Solar Flare. <clears throat> this is their Sunstorm. Now we saw this on the back of the G2 Jazz uh, package for uh, TFCon Toronto. And you know they had some other recolors of uh, the, um, the Reflector, uh, Galaxy Meteor, and they did a, a Hound one also, and everything. So they got recolors of that. So we thought, you know, everybody thought they was going to do them or all that stuff. And I had a feeling that maybe they may do one like a like a vote or something like a, a, a fan vote to see which one you want to do. But it looks like they're trying to do a crowdfunding thing now, and I don't really understand why. Because Make Toys is a really good company. I like Make Toys stuff. I buy. I've got quite a few of their uh, figures. Um, I fix and actually do a review of their Skywarp and Thundercracker. And Starscream is my favorite Transformer I have. I think he's beautiful. I mean, I love him. So I, I really don't understand why they're going this route. Um, I think had they, I, it was either them or it was MMC that did the Art Fire. Um, so you know, crowdfunding has been around. You know, it's starting to pop up in other areas. You know, and other companies like Moss Toys. I can understand why Moss Toys would do one because they're not really, you know, they only have one product and that's the Bumblebee. And it was fine. You know, it wasn't, you know, wonderful, you know, like sliced bread or something, but, you know, it was just fine. And uh, shout out to the box art. But uh, I don't, I could understand why they do in the Tetra Jets, you know, they had to get crowdfunding because they really don't have anything to fall back on. And I bought their Star Scream and I'm glad it made and everything. So I just, I just didn't, I wasn't comfortable. With buying all three because I don't know how their products are. So I'll test Starscream and then I'll, uh, you know, if I like them, I'll buy uh, Thundercracker and Skywarp. So, but what I'm, at, what I'm really asking is why Make Toys are doing this because, you know, like I said, they're a good company and I don't think they really need to. Why don't they just, you know, put this as a TFCon Chicago uh, uh, um, exclusive and, you know, go from that. Because I think it would sell well. I think you know. I think people are really liking these seekers. So I think that this would you know probably sell when it had to have it crowdfunded. But you know I don't know. I mean it's not really a big deal. You know if it, I think it's like they want 500 units and they're 120 a piece, and I think they're already over 20 right now and they got two months. So I think I know it's going to make you know everything because people love seekers you know and all that recolors and rainmakers and all that stuff. So, but I just you know I don't really understand why they're doing going this route. Just kind of weird. Do you think that the companies like this don't have faith in their products? You know, that they won't sell? I don't really want, I don't see that, but you know, it might be, it might be, it might be a reason, you know, people won't want to buy these, you know, obscure characters. And do you want to see like Unrestable Bastards, you know, with the motorcycles and all that stuff? Uh, do you want to see other companies like that, new companies come up and try to make something for themselves, you know, out of themselves? And, um, do that stuff, you know, do crowdfunding for all the motorcycles and all that stuff, and now they got some new products coming. I mean, is that something you would like to see? So what I'm asking y'all, and if you want to hit me up with some comments on that good stuff, is why are they doing it? Are you going to buy it? Uh, will they do more in the future? I mean, is this going to be a trend where we're, they're going to have to do, you know, and maybe that's why they're doing it is because they're obscure characters. You know, they're, you know, kind of B, you know, B, C characters like Artfire, 
was you know you know recolor of Inferno, but you know he was not he wasn't in the cartoon all that stuff. And then you got Sunstorm, which he was one he was in that one episode, the first one, and that was it. And I think they're doing Acid Storm right behind him because he's green. So are they going to crowdfund for that guy too? I mean, I don't know. So do we see a lot of other companies doing this in the future? You know, is this going to be a, a little thing? And um, would you want other companies to do it? Like, let's just say Backcube did their side swap in Red Alert because, you know, Masterpiece already had theirs out. So, like, we don't know if we can compete with that, but we'll put it up as a crowdfunding and see if people want it. But they didn't do that. They went ahead, you know, and, and released it. And it's got mixed reviews. I've heard good things. I've heard bad things. But do you think that um, other companies are going to do main characters as crowdfunding if, uh, if uh, Takara has already done the Masterpiece already? Do you, do you see that or do you think they're just going to put it out? Because Fans Toys has got their Hot Rod coming out. So, you know, finally. But, you know, people really didn't think that they was going to release it. So, I guess we'll just see. You know. And the reason why I mentioned Bad Keep, you know, maybe, you know, wanted to do a crowdfunding for their side swap and red alerts is because, you know, a lot of times when Takara puts out something, a lot of stuff gets put up for sale for third party, you know, and everything. So, it was kind of a, a ballsy move for, you know, to release the side swap and red alert because they already had stuff. But they did make improvements to what some people wanted, like the chest and all that stuff. So... You know, that's the only reason why I mentioned that. So, well, that's what I'm, I'm just, you know, wanted to ask y'all, you know, I'd like to hear y'all's input and all that good stuff. So why don't you hit me with some comments, hit me with some likes, all that good stuff, share, uh, sub, do all that good stuff. You know what, it's free, whatever. Yeah, I guess I will see you on the next review. And as always, hell has bro, and good night, folks.